Okay, so let's talk about pocket knife safety for opening and closing. And this is a non-locking blade, regular scout style knife. And it's got one main blade. And so you're going to put your fingernail in the indention to open this knife. And I generally hold it with a couple fingers and my thumb here and rest all my fingers along the knife itself and then move my thumb down toward the middle. So I'm grasping it like this. And then pull the blade open like this so that the blade's always facing down. When I go to close the knife, my hand is in virtually the same position so that there's nothing over the top for that blade to fold into. And as I push the knife, I can hold it with a couple fingers, push it with the back of this hand down, and it's pushing against the back of my hand here, just like that to fold it. So again, open, close. Nothing's in the way, nothing's gonna get cut. Now, if you have the Trucker model, it has a locking mechanism on it. Same technique for opening. Closing, you're going to have to move the locking device out of the way. But that gives you safety in the fact that this knife can't close up on you while you're using it, no matter what happens. The blade can't fold over onto your hands or anything when you're using the blade, and that's a good thing. So you move that lock out of the way, and then you begin to fold the blade just a little bit. Immediately, you're going to have to move your hands back to that same position again to shut the knife. And open the knife is the same way. But you always have to push that locking device out of the way to close the knife and then move your hand into that safe position. Okay, guys, let's talk real quick about the importance of a lanyard to your pocket knife or folding knife. Because I think every pocket knife should have a lanyard on it. And there's a lot of reasons for that. So let's talk through that real quick. I'll stand up here in front of the camera where you can kind of see the lanyard and we'll talk through it. All right, so as you can see, I've got an actual clip on my lanyard that opens up. And you can buy these at Harbor Freight, Tractor Supply, places like that. And you could just have a loop here. But if you have a loop, what that means is you got to take your belt off if you put that around your belt every time. But it's important to have this thing attached to you somehow so that if you reach in your pocket and pull something out and the knife comes out, the knife can't fall and get lost. If you've got gloves on or something like that and you're reaching in here to grab something, it's very easy to knock that knife out of there. But it's never going to fall away from you as long as it's attached to your body. The other thing with this is, is that you need that lanyard to be long enough so that you can actually do something with that knife if you need to and still have it attached to your body. So you can do close-up whittling and carving work right in here next to your body and still have that thing in a position where it's not going to get lost. Now, here's the other key to this lanyard, all right? I can detach this lanyard, and you could do this even if you had a loop on here, and attach the lanyard to itself, and you could do that with a simple overhand lark set around your wrist. But having this attached to your wrist when you're using it, again, means you're not going to lose it. And the importance of that is for a lot of reasons. Number one, if I'm working over water, maybe I'm trying to cut a fishing line out of a tree or something like that, and I drop the knife, it doesn't fall into the water. Maybe over the side of a boat or anything like that, it's not going to fall in the water. If I'm working up a little higher off the ground doing something with my knife and I drop it, it's not going to fall where I have to climb back down to get it. Or if I'm working over a ledge or something like that. All of those things are reasons to have that knife attached to you so that if you drop it, it can be picked right back up. So having a lanyard on your knife gives you lots and lots of security, not only in the fact that you're not going to lose it from your body or out of your pocket, but also in the fact that you're not going to lose it, period, if you're using it. And it doesn't hurt anything to have that lanyard attached to you if you're using it just around camp because it's too tempting to just set that knife down and forget where it might be, especially if it's an oddball color like black that's going to blend in. A red trucker model would probably be better for a youth because they'd be able to find it easier. But if it's attached to me, I can't just set it down because it's attached to me. I can set it aside, I can drop it off, and I can do other things, and it's still right there when I need it. And that's the importance of that lanyard on that knife, and that's why in the trucker phase, of Pathfinder Youth Adventure Training, every knife, 
every pocket knife, jack knife, whittling knife, whatever you want to call this thing, has to have a lanyard on it that's attached to your belt or attached to your pants. And this one here, the way I've got this set up with this clip, it just attaches to my belt loop very easily. But it could attach to my belt if it just had a loop in the cordage as well. All right.